Okay, I think we are um, getting it. We'll see if we have the right way. Okay. So I put the camera the right way and we will have have it right okay thank you and welcome uh, I hope you can hear me and see me hello hello yeah thank you thank you so much and uh, can you hear me please uh, say uh, if you can hear me and uh, see see me so I know that it works for me I see Texter Dreams, I see Lisa, I see Kim have joining to the chat. So nice of you to come here to me. Please say hello to me so I know. Oh, that's good. Yeah, thank you, the tool girl, for letting me know that. Uh, that's good. So we wait a little bit more. But uh, I can show you my uh, canvas. Uh, I like to do almost the same one on uh, that that you have joined me. I have uh, prepared some molds today, so I think to use them. And please, please, if you have any questions, don't uh, ask them. Uh, so let me know if you have questions and I can tell you anything. So I'm Katja from Sweden. And today I will use products from uh, uh, Finabär, the liquid acrylics. Um, this is uh, one way that we will use them. So, are we ready to go? And uh, when you join, so please say hello so I can know who is here and watching me. And uh, please, uh, if you have any questions, uh, ask me. So see if I can uh, explain to you how I'm thinking. Okay. We will uh, start uh, with my canvas. I will have a little bigger one, this one. I'm thinking to do. Um, I know that I have a previous project in my mind here, but I think this will be perfect for our canvas for today. And uh, it had a little bit gesso and crackle paste on it. Uh, but we will start from here. Do you cast any of your own mold pieces? Uh, hey from Göteborg, hey hey, welcome. Um, do you cast any of your own mold pieces? I don't know. I have used uh, only Finnabers new molds and today before this uh, um, session I have been playing around with the molds and I must show you I have trying to do my molds you see I had trying to do my molds um, in a different color and perhaps I will show you a tutorial of these but this one who is uh, a little bit shiny they are absolutely gorgeous hello Anna and hello from Mexico Cecilia welcome so happy to see you so I think uh, this was a fun experience for me and uh, I will share uh, the experience with you someday later Okay, uh, this one uh, was uh, a casting from, uh, i show you the package. 
uh, sometimes I do paper clay but this one uh, I was made with the amazing clear cast uh, or white cast um, I think they have a more precise and more detailed look uh, now I have paint my castings with uh, white gesso before we have started but I use the both depends on the projects and what mood I am in okay let us start so the molds are in focus today and uh, on this project you can see that I have some paper here I have some decorative paper um, and I think on this project we will we do will have uh, the paper looked a little bit so Finn have um, a lot of uh, nice papers uh, she have gave out and perhaps we go for the more vintage look this time so we give it a try so I have this paper and I only pick uh, some randomly pieces because I only want to have some small details so I tear it yeah I hope you hope you will create with me and uh, that would be so fun if you are creating yeah this is a new one and uh, new papers and this paper is uh, what can it be not the music sheet oh it's a, a paper named uh, Carl Postal what I will use this one to this small canvas here it doesn't show but I have used uh, the other paper so they are gorgeous papers uh, on this one I have used uh, on this one I have used the solar papers but we take this another one and I tear off some randomly I want to keep the faces here does it me tearing off the papers it makes noisy I hope not okay we see how this will work uh, I have some uh, soft matte gel uh, that I will use and uh, I always have big and flat brushes so I'm thinking to have oh that will match perfectly here only a little bit details here and there so a thin coat of soft matte gel this is only to make a little bit interest to, to give a little bit interest to my canvas and when I have it on the place I'm a little bit careful so I tap it on and Finn was learning me this because I'm not used to tap it on but it works and I have a thin coat also over the paper hello from Spain yeah the papers are absolutely gorgeous and there are six of them in every pack so it's a very good bargain to buy them and uh, you can use them for so many different kind of projects I can't resist to use them and we see if we will do a full cover of it or not if I will paint it, paint over it you never know how it will end and I'm so happy that you will uh, join me tonight that you are not so busy so fun so I tap it on a little bit carefully and um, taking the soft matte gel and pick it where I want it uh, if I uh, 
I can also do it in the edges, but I'm thinking we are playing a little bit with the gesso there, so uh, that will not be a problem. So I only pay a little bit randomly. So we hope to have, uh, see if we have something in the end when we are finished. So nice of you to join me tonight on this Saturday. Um, Mexico, I don't know how much the time is in the Mexico. But I'm happy that you have the time to join me. So, so glad that you are here. Okay, that will be fine. Uh, I will leave it like that. I think it can uh, dry a little bit by itself. Uh, or you can dry it. My paint and my uh, molds, put them here so it will be natural a little bit here. And you see, I have some extra details. I like to have some wire. But we will start with uh, our decorative molds. And here I could have more texture if I want. You could have uh, uh, more tissue paper or, uh, or paper scraps or anything you want. But we, clear, we keep it like that, a uh, little bit simple today. So I start to pick out my molds. I'm thinking about a composition and you know that um, can always little be a little bit difficult how to do the composition uh, but I always start with the biggest biggest ones and um, try to do a little bit like layering and uh, also I have this face and I will have this moon here also so I'm thinking about how we will do this so um, see I take the biggest one first and I don't know how it will be end but I um, will start to gluing anyway and now when I glue, this one was a lot of things here, uh, I will use heavy body gel. It's really jelly and like that. Uh, you can also use uh, 3D matte gel, but this one dries a little bit faster, so I use it. And when I have it, I don't have a brush, I pick a, like a big blob or something and uh, this is uh, products from uh, Prima and Finaber. Finaber have designed the products and uh, where you can buy Prima products you also can find uh, this stuff I can see the face on the right between cog and stars. Yeah, I think so too. We see, uh, we see where we'll end, Anna. But that's a good idea. Thank you. So I think it's a little bit heavy to read and uh, create at the same time. But I do my best. Um, and I really enjoy these new molds. Uh, it's fabulous. So you can use them for many different projects. And that's so, so fun. Uh, so I start to place them. Making a group of uh, decorations and I try to fill the gaps with smaller ones around and you see 
that per puts perfectly over that. So we will see how we end. That's a good start, I think. What do you guys think? Thank you for joining me and so fun that you're here with me. It's a Saturday here and uh, I have for some moments ago, ha I have been eating dinner. Okay, I'm a little bit because I have these wings. So let me think where to put the wings. I want to have like double wings like this. I think that could work. Perhaps I changed my mind. You know how it is with uh, with the me mixed media projects. Sometimes you change your mind. And that's the good way with the medium that until it's completely dry, you can change. So we see if we are on the right way, if we have the what you say the moon man on the moon and the sun something like that i think so um, yeah i think that could be and we need to have the wings uh, up so I try to fill up some more gaps. Yeah, moons are adorable and uh, this is incredible. And I need to have the wing a little bit more up. So I'm doing it easy for me myself. I have a little bit uh, foam tape. So I will have a little bit foam tape up so it will be more easy and on that one i will glue so i need to have it up a little little bit something like that do you think it will work ah that i think will be okay and it will have that on the top yeah thank you anna thank you for the support so nice that you give me support ah perhaps too much i have this small face also um or, or should it be a little bit more by itself perhaps so i feel i have some more details so i go for it yeah it can be a stars it's about stars yes and this it's almost dry you see i didn't need to heat it uh it, it worked anyway ah perhaps like that okay it start to take it form so i have also small elements uh, I have uh, think that I also will have uh, some uh, art pebbles here and there to make some contrast. So perhaps I don't put that one here. Uh, instead, I keep it open to have uh, uh, this uh, art melange pebbles. You see, I have these ones. I'm thinking to add them in the end. So. I don't put their eye instead otherwise it should be natural to put them on these places but now I will find a uh, pick it here instead so we have our composition yes I will be adding wire in the end I think wire is making a, a great, uh, I'm a big fan of wire to many different kinds of projects. I think it's so, so fun. 
so uh, this one had a shape of a heart uh, and we will see on the this uh, canvas perhaps we'll have a, another shape I haven't decided yet uh, perhaps a circle hmm we'll see um, and um, I think that one will be in the end you see I have put the Sun on the wire so perhaps we will check out if we will have that uh, these two on the wire and if it will stay the face there so we do checking out our wire I have copper colored wire and I don't know uh, it's a very thin one and I do like wires uh, in a in different way ah yeah Anna you say it will be a, a circular wire yeah I think so too it could be nice you see we could have one like that yeah that could be perfect a little bit like what we do by hand like that so we do a circular wire and here I could have something round I do it like that by myself So, but we only have it in the end, but it could be nice to know where we will uh, have it. So, and the wire doesn't need to be perfect. It's only a little bit uh, fun and uh, like that. It's, what you say, have not the perfect shape. So, perhaps we will have the wire like that. And I have a wire we could put around this, see, around the face. So, I think we go for that one. So, I will not glue the moon and the sun face yet. But we can keep them there because I think I want to have some more. And this one will be here up. So today I had so fun creating um, and doing my own molds and try to get different colors with them. So, so fun. And I'm thinking to show you, to do more and to show you in a video. Okay, where we put this? I forgot here so where I put this one I can have a small piece like that or we pick it in upstairs yes so this is fine uh, and fun when you can mix this stuff with each other yeah, I think we'll go for this and now we will be sure that all our elements will be glued like that. And uh, I have some uh, heavy body gel, a little bit outside my, pro uh, my details. I have a, a dry brush and pick off some uh, where it's a little bit too much and I'm really I must say it again I'm so so happy that you ha have uh, joined my live that you have the time um, and it's so fun it's a little bit unusual for me because I'm not used to chit chat with myself that's so unusual for me uh, I 
can be very quiet and sometimes a little bit shy person. Uh, but I'm used to I'm used to teach. Uh, I say that teaching is the only thing that I know because I teach every day, even if I teach children. So, sitting here and chatting by myself, I think I can like in a oops, sorry, two. Okay, now we need to have it dry and the paper um, is almost uh, dry. So, now I will make a bit noisy here and I, in the same time I will read. Thank you, Kim, that you say that you're happy that I'm sharing my art. Thank you, thank you. I hope you can hear me even if I'm using my heat gun. But now, before we are painting, I need to be it so dry as so so much as possible. So this is a boring thing uh, with uh, to doing mixed media. It's drying time. When you do it by yourself, you can do something else and go to have many projects going on. In but we try to have this. So, if you're new to my live chat, please say hello and please tell me from which country you're coming. Me, I am Katja from Sweden. And me, I'm very happy that you join me here in Sweden in my craft room. So, if you like, please share. Ah, Anna from the UK. Thank you, Anna. Let me know. I have heard. Malaysia. South Africa. Oh, I'm so happy. South Africa. And Florida. And Colorado. Ah, oh, that's nice. All over the world. That's really, really nice. And I'm so happy that you joined me. Ah, I know. Oh, you have one of my ATCs? That means I should have one of your ATCs, Anna. Hi, Laurel. Hope I said your name correctly. Hi, welcome from Illinois. I understand it's um, early morning. I think you, I have your Anna. Right now I have it a little bit messy in my craft room because for the moment I have two rooms and I'm changing the rooms but I'm taking it slowly because I have a busy schedule. So I don't have the time to change the room. Ah, that's good, Laurel. Uh, I don't have the time to have two weeks to do the organization and uh, declutter my craft room. So i changing my craft room, but I'm thinking to the summer I have my new room ready. So, at the moment, I have two rooms, and it's so, so much crafty thing that need to be reorganized and uh, changing. Ah, it start to be dry. A little bit more, and I see a messy place there. Paris, hello Paris. Uh, nice to see you. 
all lovely ladies from all over the world. So glad that you join me for my um, my session. I think this hour will go so quickly. Uh, in the end of March, I will have uh, there will be um, I need a bigger bra. There will be twenty four hours uh, uh, live uh, session with 22 different art artists all over, all over the world who's sending live so I will hope you and it will come up and there will be so many beautiful projects and many talented people who will uh, you can share their gorgeous art molds with the white gesso i have a bit before uh, on the day and i also whitening and uh, have a little bit of white gesso on the background uh, you see so it only be yeah the tool girl uh, embellishment i love embellishment you can do much <laughs> embellishments so that she have gave out the, these molds yes it's so so you see it's not really dry yet i want to have a thin coat of gesso and especially to hide a little bit about on the edges so i hope you will join when it will be uh, in the end of march the 24 hours lies uh, it you can't see all of them uh, that will be heavy but i hope you will watch and are able to watch so many as you have the time to do i think it can be really really fun uh, and uh, that's nice about the crafting that so many um, support each other i think we all need to support each others there, there are so many talented people out there so yes we must help each other okay i had a little bit heavy here so i will wipe off because i want to keep a little bit about the background i think we will uh, be having like that and uh, yeah <laughs> drink a coffee yeah all day that's a good idea tool girl yeah i will be on a scrap uh, crop that uh, uh, on that uh, when it start so i think i need to have earphones and uh, my I ipad so when i when i'm on that event i can see all the crafty things okay I think we are. I am happy. Oh, thank you, disorganized crafter. Thank you so much. Uh, we don't have any colors yet. We need to have a little bit more dry before. Before we have some colors. Yeah, this is a very easy project. It's not so difficult. Uh, we don't have so much texture uh, on the on the background, but you can have so much texture and uh, different uh, elements like lace or anything you want, or having a texture with a stencil and like that. I want to give you a quick project, so I'm. Uh, I have the focus on the composition, 
and the coloring today. So, a little bit drying, and now the, uh, comes the fun part. It's time to choose our colors. So, I will show you the colors. I think we can leave it for dry a little bit, and I will show you. I have my box here with the new <laughs> acrylic fluid colors. So I need to pick them out, all of them, because they are so, so beautiful. And they are so vibrant and um, full of pigment and so different from other colors. And I also have the waxes. So... Yeah, hi there. Hi, Riddy. Yeah, thank you, Riddy, for joining me. And you see, I have on my table the new liquid acrylic. Uh, and on this project, I had the blue one, deep turquoise. I also had uh, ultramarine. I also had some... Um, purple and I think we go for a different um, color scheme this time I wonder if we will do something in the magenta instead magenta and um, tiger orange yellow perhaps what do you think purple Ooh. I'm a little bit afraid of the purple. <laughs> um, and we also have the waxes. Hi, sweetheart. Yeah, adorable. Mm. But I'm thinking to do, I think, I know this is really, really vibrant and be a really nice combination. Again, tiger orange, and true yellow, maybe pinky. Yes, I'm not so pinky. And the blue and the teal and like that. And we also have some uh, Indian pink. Have you seen this wax? Uh, it's gorgeous. And my new favorite are absolutely this uh, firebird and uh, uh, and it match the wire perfectly so yes yeah, so I think we will stay with the firebird and we skip the pea bird and perhaps have the pink ones hello from Poland Yes, as well, the firebird, it's awesome, I agree. And you see the wire, it will be, it's perfect with that one. So, we start, and you can do, and you can use this paint on many different ways. And I will show you one way now. And uh, I could do, you see here, I have... Uh, some um, water and I have this one I can show you but it only give a little bit paint because I also have some white in it and I also have some makeup powder so these uh, acrylic fluid is you can make your own mists so um, You can use them, but it doesn't give so much color, this one, I haven't done, so I will take it. Okay, are we back again? I think so, we are back again. Some problems with the connection, I think. 
Can you see and hear me, please? You can tell me. Yeah. Now I see that we have something with the internet connection. Yeah, thank you. Something with the internet connection. Um, I'm lucky that only my... Um, yeah, something with the connection. Uh, but I'm happy that you are back. Yeah, thank you. Something happened with the connection. That can happen sometimes, especially here in Sweden uh, uh, on a Saturday evening. Um, oh, I'm a little bit scared of it. So we take a little bit easy. We will have a little bit red. So, or magenta. So I pick a little bit here and there. And we'll do the spray and we'll see how much it will give because we only take a bit of the pink one. So we go for the pink. Yeah, it's really, really, really pink. But we will have also on this project some waxes. So it will be different one from the from the blue one but that's a joy to do almost uh, the same you do it on the same way but anyway you do it differently okay I think we need some orange on this project also what do you think yes really vibrant colors but I'm, I'm not worried because we will tone it down a little bit with waxes and um, also with um, uh, some white gesso. So I'm not worried that they are so, so vibrant. I think it will be great. Yes. And I think we need some orange from Peru. Thank you, thank you. This color combination, really, it's a really um, challenge for me. But I like to having challenges. So only a little bit drying. Uh, and I will go more for the orange, I think. Hola. Really, I know I, that in India you love vibrant colors. I would like to learn to use more vibrant colors. I'm... Uh, very in front of um, uh, I'm very in front of doing um, vintage projects but it's good to take challenges so we have a bit orange and I like I said I think we will have um, the sun and the moon in the orange and you see I'm doing over the pink one a bit and now I will spray some water again and we see how it will be if they have blend to a mixture of all the three colors because that was my intention to do a, a mix of them like in the blue project thank you thank you thank you 
uh, give me the support that I'm on the right way. Uh, it's uh, like a shiny thing. Something like that, I think. And always, if I'm not happy then, in the end, I can always... Uh, but now it's like a fire colors. Uh, I will add some waxes also. So that will make um, the extra details, I think. Okay, I think I want the wings. More magenta, so I add more color on them like that because I want them to stand out on my project. So I give them and the sun under, so I give them the extra touch like it's more glowy here. So I go like that. I think my coloring will be like that. Yeah, like fire a bit. And up in the sky, yeah, it's very fiery there, I think. Or I don't know the word for it exactly. Okay, now it's the time to dry. Um, I'm a little bit messy crafter, so I always have uh, a messy table. What about you? Do you have messy tables or are you, are you a very clean one? I think to have uh, been messy and to have paints in your hands and stuff, it's poor uh, curioi, so uh, that's not a problem for me. So we try to dry it and uh, it's almost dry. Uh, you have a messy, oh you have paint in my computer, yes. I. Uh, you should see my iPad, it's really really prickly, like prickly uh, pricks on it, uh, like from white gesso like that. I will paint the, the moon and my sun in the orange co color. Um, I think, uh, but this one, oh, it's orange, but you see, it's very, very vi vibrant one. So we will have them because I want them to have a little bit different and I spray it with water so the white so and that one also in that orange one I want them in the same and I can add from the colors here, here and there. You can, you never know to stop. Do you know when you should stop? I don't know. I can go on and on and doesn't know when I'm really going to stop. Yeah. This uh, nose and papel. Yes. Uh, this was the resins. And I have painted them with white gesso. And I glue them and then I painted them again with a thin coat of gesso so I can play with them. Okay, some drying time again. And um, we will add the wire. And yes, I try to catch up uh, what you are uh, 
Yes, the tool girl. It's difficult to know when to stop. That's a problem for me too. I'm uh, many times I overdo. I don't know when to stop uh, because it's a fun, and you almost sometimes uh, when you're finished with a project, uh, you some you can get a little bit sad. Oh, it's almost finished. Oh, it's finished. So. You can get a little bit sad when it's finished. So I dry up this and this was, uh, see, only a little bit color and they look gorgeous. I almost doesn't want to put anything on them. So, but it's time to glue our um, wire. Oh, you think I'm looking organized? Oh. Thank you for that. But I really go with the flow. I try to have my things near me when I'm working. So, I clean the fluids. And, of course, we must test the other colors, like the purple and the greens uh, it can be pro for the next project I think the green and the, and the purple for sure okay it's almost dry almost I say it's al always uh, some water dripping here but here we have still keep some of the background paper and I think that is uh, gorgeous to have to keep some interest in the background. Yeah, and our sun and moon almost dry. So we take them here. Like that ones. So Now we have the wire, our exciting wire that we will have here in the middle. And I think it will be gorgeous with that once. Um, yeah, it was perfect. You don't need to do anything about it really. It look, imagine. So I will put some wax on it but we'll see how it ends and here look at this moon how the color goes and how it went here on the side is perfectly shaded already so you almost doesn't need to do anything I can feel a little bit uh, sad almost need to hide it uh, I'm thinking before I um, glue this one, I want to put some wax. I have this firebird, but I'm thinking also, you see we have this um, sweet rose. I think it's too, um, too soft. I'm thinking if we're trying a little bit with the Indian pink. Ooh, you see it's very pinky yeah we also need some um, I think we also need some gold in the end but I think we do it in the last touch I would do this uh, pink one not everywhere only some places uh, many of you uses the finger and you see how messy I get? I have started to use, especially when I have workshops, I use uh, small makeup brushes. Uh, you see, I have some of them. I only use this for waxes because I think they can be almost like using fingers. So I will only have this pink one on uh, 
some places sometimes I'm of course I'm using um, my uh, finger but here I uh, on bigger parts and uh, when I have want to have a little more is perfect with these um, makeup uh, I think it's for I uh, what do you call it for your eyes yeah I think uh, makeup brushes is uh, even the cheap ones from dollar store or or other br brands I think they were perfectly uh, to use ah I start to see I adding a little bit here and there only with the pink one yeah I like this uh, it's really two challenging colors for me but I think uh, this is uh, really fun and I will also use yeah eyeshadow brushes and they come in many different sizes and I use them on my workshops because uh, when we use a waxes I want uh, doesn't want to have the students put their fingers in all the uh, the jars so the eyes uh, eyeshadow brushes is perfect oh look at that orange one yes we will have that in some places here and there so now I took a quick decision uh, that I will not use any gesso because I could put on a thin coat of gesso but I take a little bit in the end to hold the colors but here I will have only so here and there yeah you can use your makeup brushes it's so perfect you know for dry brushing bigger projects I use my when you have a bigger uh, what you call it for your cheeks you brush it they are perfect for dry brushing bigger projects because they are soft and fluffy ah that's nice you see what's happened with the wings they entering a, a golden um, pink like that then I'm wondering if we need some dark color in, in under everything but we will see that after we are finished you never know how it will end but it looks vibrant and it looks different uh, from what I'm used to do so time to yes these two colors Indian pink and firebird they are amazing and here are the wire and the wire match perfectly now it's time to glue the wire and that can be a little bit difficult it take time so we will see how it will work uh, the face will keep the wire in place and uh, the moon will also keep the wire and you see I have the wings in a darker color than the moon and the sun so yeah I think so so it's time to glue and I do the heavy body gel again and the focus will be here on the moon and under the sun and we see how it goes can be a little bit difficult uh, but off it will need to dry 
over the night but we do like a challenge here and for uh, like to use for adhering hello tiffany nice to see you happy that you found me and joined me so i'm working on my project and i'm gluing now with heavy body gel and tiffany my name is katja and i come from sweden so katja is my name um, i think katja is a russian name from the beginning from the beginning and katja is not a typical swedish name Uh, and my uh, second name, Julak, is also not a typical Swedish name. Um, okay, now it need to be dry. Thank you, Tiffany. So I'm soon finished with my project. It need to be dried. A little bit uh, on my other project I have a wire around the here and I will do the same here we see if I had, I had one more wire we will see or we will take this one yeah I have a smaller one thank you Tiffany I'm doing a project that's not my usual color combo. Yeah, here. So, this one can be a little bit tricky. I need a small brush here. And I hope you all see my project or if I'm out of camera. So, I will have a little bit of this uh, heavy body gel around my wire and um, yeah we'll place it here and this time I don't care if it's a little bit outside uh, that's exactly how I want it right now because I would add some glitter I'm a big fan of glitter so on my wire here and there i will have some glitter so i take some places i add some heavy body gel and um, on the wire yes like that Oops. Now. Ah, you wake up. Ah. That's good. 10 in the morning. That's good. Now I have. I'm totally in love in these uh, micro beads and they come in different colors. So I think if we take the brown or the goldy one, I think we take the brown ones and I will sprinkle on some places like that and it come a little bit everywhere on my project I don't mind right now because I want to attach on the wire a bit and around the Sun so it look like it had some around it like that so it all and it always stick on the wire like that we need to have it more dry 
now it's always like that and i will also have some glitter and uh, do we have perhaps some uh, brown copper glitter here i sprinkle a little bit around the 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 sun like that and like that now we need to dry it a bit and then we have the last touches with some gesso and waxes I'm so happy that so many people have joined me. Hi ladies, nice to see you. Yes, I like also the tissue paper come up in the background. I think that makes uh, really fun detail to the projects. And now some of the pearls that are not uh, uh, glued, they uh, I will blow them away. That's why it goes so messy. Yes, this organized crafter. You must try, uh, try this color combination. It's so fun to try new combinations, especially because you always do the same. So I encourage you to try new stuff, always. Thank you really for like my project. Thank you so much. So you see the micro beads uh, stick here and there. Uh, we will do some uh, with the white gesso and we will have a little bit more waxes also. And it's so fun to play with these uh, acrylic fluids and the waxes because you can do all the layering and you can get different effects. It's so, so fun. You need really to try them. And um, that's so fun. Okay. I will have a dry brush here I will pick up some of the you see I have a dirty brush you see how disorganized I can be even if I have prepared myself for this day and uh, clean my brushes and even that I have some dirty ones on my table how can that be So, I take off the extra ones and also have some of my table wipe off and um, like that. Okay, I must see how it looks like. Yes, Tiffany, I know you like black gesso, also me. Uh, that's, um, can be, but it's always a trust. If it doesn't work out, you can always use the white or black gesso to change it if you are not, to change if you're not so happy. Now I take a little bit white gesso because I want to frame my, canvas a bit so I start to use white gesso on the edges a bit because I want to have some white here and there still not too much because I want the paper to show under yes <laughs> yes the tool girl 
I did something outside my comfort zone and I did it on a live. A little bit crazy of me. But why, why not do it live to share the experience uh, with you guys? Yes, why not? I like to challenge myself. And now you see when I put in the white, I frame my project a bit. So, and I always like to frame my project. It's like a cloudy shadow or something around. So, I think it can be like a nice effect to have a white. You see, and yeah, something like that. And um, you never know, tomorrow perhaps I put some splatter on it also. You never know. But something like that, I think, because now it's uh, like a frame around it. Yeah. Try to try to uh, do some new color combinations uh, and to not be afraid to try because this is a color combination. It's totally uh, outside my comfort zone. Uh, now when I look on it, perhaps I want to add a little bit brown to give it a little more depth. Uh, here I put some white. We see what's happened. I put a little bit, little bit white on it like that to only give it some extra yeah man on the moon a little bit white but i think will give it a golden effect uh, i can always always give it back a touch but give it to my Sorry that you go, Anna. But nice to see you, and thank you for stopping by. Yes, the Firebird is really gorgeous. I love it. Um, now, uh, I want to add some golden waxes. I have my waxes in a jar. I'm thinking to add some white gold on the top. And we see where I put my makeup brushes. Bye bye, Anna. Nice to see you. And I hope to see you soon again. So, we see if we have. And you see I'm messy. I'm use, using my hands. And I have a golden touch only on the top of some details not too much not at all only a little bit and on this i choose some parts nose and cheeks not ev everywhere i choose where to put the wax and nose up the eye and perhaps like that so he looks um, have a thin shine and here also and um, yeah it have give some extra details I think uh, that could be really, really great. Uh, here on the wings too. Yeah, I think that could be. So we have many layers and it looks fiery. Now, I promise you that in the end I should have... Um, We'll see what should I have. The 
pebbles and here I have the big ones I have sorted them out a bit yeah Yeah, and here we have we'll have them like extra shiny. Yeah, something happened with the picture. I'm back again. I think um, something with the connection here. It's Saturday. Now I have uh, my favorite glue. I use newer glue. And uh, I glue these pebbles here. I like to have some contrast. Now it's white, but it dries clear. I have used the same uh, glue here on this project. So it works fine. So I glue this a little bit here and there. Uh, I, need to, I add them like that. It's more easy to find the size that I want. You see, I'm a messy crafter. I get impatient. So I add them a little bit here and there. Yes, like that. And remember that the glue, it will dry clear, so it will look uh, much more brighter. And we need a title. Uh, where I put my titles? Yes, my fav new favorite, The Sentiments from Finna Bear. You also have these, but not on this project. But these sentiments. And you have sentiments, um, and you have more longer ones. And what should we have? One long or two or over the project. Here you can see I had stamped Dare to Dream. Um, per I think we will have a title here, per per I think. Perhaps, what do you say about dream without fear? Yeah, that will be perfect here. Uh, I need to have s uh, some color around it. So I have some oxide here. So I will add a quick on the edges to frame it you know I like to frame to give it so dream without fear and I think we need a glue around uh, a glue uh, under it to, to let it stay and I'm a little bit outside the f I see okay Dream without fear, yes, that will be perfect and like that. Okay, I think I'm finished with my project. I have done them the same way, like this blue one. So it's almost the same, but you see, I have a bigger canvas here and a little bit more of the Back, uh, background paper uh, from Fina Bear looks more and we have a different composition and here it was a heart but anyway I have uh, made it on the same way oh Tiffany it's a regular uh, wire like this looks like copper uh, I don't know what kind of wire is but I have many different kinds of wires I like to use 
and uh, there are you see I have many different on my table in different sizes uh, this cup one I have uh, more in gold and then have some here is a super solder wire this is very soft but I have different ones um, you can use uh, this wire to make jewelry and something or this one I know is for some crafting or electric or something but I think the color is gorgeous so that's why so use the wire what you like it's perfect okay same but different and I'm so happy really happy that you are joining me to see me create I have been nervous all of the day uh, and we did have some um, some uh, problem with the connection but in the end it had been okay yes disorganized crafter you need to have a wire I have many projects that I made before and on my um, workshop classes I also use uh, wire so wire is a very unexpensive uh, not so expensive to make a personal look on your project so thank you so much ladies for being here I'm so so grateful very very grateful uh, you can I can't find the words that you have been here and please please if you like uh, my project give me the thumb up and um, yes uh, in the end of March Tiffany knows all about the 24 uh, uh, lives that will go in the end of March uh, so that will be really fun to see what we can create then so I say thank you for watching all of you lovely ladies and see you and I will do more lives and see you soon again. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, everyone should do that. Thank you, Tiffany, to learn me. Give me a thumbs up and share it on social media. Yes, I would be so, so happy if you do. And uh, it's a way to learn about the product and to share. This is what's a challenge for me in many, many ways. So, yes, share my challenge with other people thank you bye bye thank you see you